five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Okay, hey YouTube, this is the second time today I've done this video. Uh, last time the audio got all jacked up. Uh, listening to uh, Jonathan's video here, it was like doubled. But before I go into that, I just want to make a quick comment on this uh, video that came out. Ben Carson uh, executes Trump zone order, hands Donald a 25 billion surge. Um, basically, Carson has gotten together a bunch of business leaders and they've agreed to build a bunch of businesses in low income and uh, areas that businesses have prior previously moved out of. And, uh, you know, that sounds good on the surface, but uh, the point I want to make here real quick is unless America figures out a way to deal with the demonic entities and the spirits that's infesting it, I think scripture says that it's become a habitation for every evil bird. I'm talking about Mystery Babylon. It's not going to work because I was a business owner for a while and uh, actually almost 20 years. My last business. I had businesses before that. But um, the spirit, the spirit of the employees has got progressively worse and worse and worse over the years. And um, if they don't do something about the, go the government regulations, it's always siding against the businesses. I mean, the, I had a situation where I had a guy running the company and his job was to go down and check the mail, pull the money out of the P.O. box, make the bank deposit, and pay himself. And it was pretty simple. He failed to do that one day, and then he filed a claim against me for not getting paid. And it's because he didn't check the mail. So, like I said, demonic entities, lying spirits. So, just want to point that out. I mean, this looks good on the surface. Kudos to Ben Carson and Trump for trying hard, but you got to get rid of those evil demonic spirits back there, or it's not going to work. Okay, now getting back into what I was going to talk about. Jonathan just did a video about slaughter Jesus. It says, uh, they're not joking. Now behold your enemy. And he's talking about he, what he's got here on the screen. It's a little bit misleading, at least to me. Uh, he, he, he pulled this off of his own website. And he's talking about Jesus being in Gamata, Gamatra 888. But also, you got to understand, there's different Gamatas. There's Hebrew Gamatras. There's there's Greek gamatas, and you know if you if you look it up, I mean you'll you'll see Jesus is four four four. You'll see him as the same as Satan, and, and different these the different opinions of these websites. So um, you know, pick and choose what your definition is going to be, which is you know where I'm going also next with the Strongs, because he's uh, the next thing he's doing is he's quoting Strongs. Let's see if I can bounce around here a little bit. Um, and he says, he's using the numbers here, and uh, this is the point I want to get to. He did a search, and I hope you can see this, um, on what Strong's number 19 is. Well, the first definition that comes up on his own search means goodness. Goodness. But he decided he didn't like that one, so he chose the Hebrew uh, definition of uh, Strong's word 19. It means slaughter. So in the Greek, you've got goodness. In the Hebrew, you've got slaughter. Okay? So that's what I've been trying and trying and trying and racking my brain trying to communicate with you folks. You know, everybody is so pro Strong's and coordinates, but I've already done the, done the background for you. I've, I've proven that, you know, he has Freemason connections. I've proven that he was on a board with a pedophile. I've, I've got you, all you gotta do is go back and look at the videos on how to use a, a strong and coordinates properly, but people don't want to do the homework. So here again, you've got I did my own search, strong and coordinates number nineteen. Here it is, strong's Greek, meaning goodness, strong's Hebrew, meaning slaughter. So you know, I'm gonna just make this a real short video. I, I don't know why I should go on and on and on with this, but um, you can make strongs say what you want it to say um, I don't know I, I'm just kind of dumbfounded that people people don't get it and they, they don't do the homework and they and they're trusting every word that the guy says without without doing the homework so with that I hope this has an impact I've proven to you um, that the 888 here means uh, something different 
it means useless, useless. Um, goes on a little further here, uh, properly unneeded uh, describing behavior that literally lacks utility. Um, uselessness, good for nothing, etc., etc. So again, by taking Jonathan's advice and simply doing the research that he suggested, I come up with something totally different. 